My name is Christina Thomas, and I would like to welcome you to our Beyond the Locker Room series. In the coming weeks, our Hawks Report staff intend to bring you interviews with student athletes that we hope will enlighten, inspire, and maybe, just maybe, help you get to know these people beyond the classroom, beyond the court, and beyond the field that they play on. Chihuahua University Athletics consists of both national and international students that strive to do their best to achieve their goals and their dreams. Fortunate for us, Chihuahua University is the avenue that they chose to travel down to fulfill those goals. Taylor Elaine McElroy is 21 years old from Chester, Virginia. Her major is psychology with a minor in coaching. Her mother, Renee McElroy, is a single mother of six children. She has been an avid cheerleader for 18 years. From recreational to middle school, high school, all-star competition, and college teams. Her goal is to continue on and be a member of an NFL cheerleading team. Currently, she is involved on campus and holds many officer positions in numerous clubs, activities, and organizations such as Women's Cross Country Team, Student Athlete Advisory Committee, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Rotorat Club, Residence Assistant, Talon Club, and NAACP. In her spare time, she enjoys shopping, golfing, working out, and volunteering in the community. And today, in Beyond the Locker Room, I am with Taylor McElroy. She is a senior at Chowan University. She is also the captain of our Chowan Sapphire Cheerleading Squad, and she's a member of our cross-country team. So Taylor, for the viewers that might not know you, can you give us three words to describe you? Well, three words that describe me are character, adventurous, and friendly. And why? Why are these the three words to describe you? Well, character because everyone says that I'm a character because I do probably 30 different faces a day. And adventurous because I like to try new things and go beyond measures and just have fun with life. And friendly because I like to smile and I'm happy all the time and I like to be friendly to everyone around me. I like those words. They're beautiful. I didn't know you made all those faces. Can you give us one? For the camera? Oh my god, okay. She got it. She got her kick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so being a cheerleader, not even just a cheerleader here, you're the captain. It has to be such a great honor. Well, before that, how did you become a cheerleader? Like, what made cheerleading a part of your life? Well, it all started off when I was three years old. My mom was a cheerleading coach, and she wanted me to be the little mascot on the team. And ever since then, I've been cheering. So it's been about 18 years now, and I've been cheering nonstop competitively. And yes, cheerleading is a sport, and that's what I've been doing all my life, and I plan to continue on doing it. All right, it's funny that you say that, actually, that you say cheerleading is a sport. A lot of people say that it's not. What, in your defense, what makes cheerleading just as competitive as everything else? Well, cheerleading is a sport, remember that. <laughs> because I don't think there's anyone who can perform lift girls, high adrenaline, um, tumbling, flipping, throwing 100 pound girls in the air for two minutes and 30 seconds without stopping. So I feel cheerleading is a sport and people, people who say that cheerleading is a sport, I believe you should come out here and try it competitively because I don't think you'll make it. <laughs> I wouldn't because I'm, I'm not a sapphire, but you know, just in case, y'all can see my cheers later. <laughs> So it's interesting that you said that you've been doing cheerleading since you're like three. Mm -hmm. So what, when did cross country come in play? Well, I decided to pick up cross country because I enjoy working out and <laughs> running a 5K is kind of hard. Like the first week I was like, I can't do this. But I just, you know, started relaxing and working out more. That's what I enjoy to do is to work out. So the 5K just got easier for me every single week with my teammates and now I just enjoy it. It makes me stress free and I just love cross country. <laughs> One day I will be that way. <laughs> May 9th, 2015 is the big day, girl. You gonna walk across that stage. So what are your aspirations and like 
um, your professional life after graduation? Well, after graduation, I plan to continue school, of course, and focus on becoming a sports psychologist. But actually, in two months, I'm planning to try out for the NFL cheerleading team. So fingers crossed that I make my dream team. HTTR, let's go. Um, so that's basically what I'm going to be doing after school and focusing on getting up there in life. <laughs> Taylor, thank you so much for being a part of our Beyond the Locker Room series, and you have the honor of being the first to sign our autograph for it. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Am I wrong for thinking that we could be something for real? No, am I wrong for trying to reach the things that I can't see? But that's just how I feel. That's just how I feel That's just how I feel Trying to reach the thing